If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. I'm camel shy. (laughs) I haven't played this game since the last time I played this game, but then you showed me a product with the color green on it, so I got interested. Let's see if this product was as good as the last one, shall we? I really hope this is as good as the crest set. The crest set? (laughs) The crest set. You know, this is the same cardboard that they've used for all of their boxes, so that's fine. Oh, does this slide out? Oh, that's cute. I like the font they used for the Neo Nectar on the bottom. It's really nice. Oh, wait, this is actually a pretty solid deck box, kind of. I mean, for like the plastic quality, this is what we should be expecting and that's good. We have a deck. I love the cover card not being foil. That's fun. I don't think there's a single foil. Amazing. Does this have limit break? What the hell? It's the OG Cecilia. Oh, is it just the normal Cecilia with just updated like wording? No. Is it a new effect? Why does it have limit break then? It's the original Cecilia. There's nothing different about it. Then why did you say no when I asked if it was the same card? Oh, maybe it was a different one. Okay, get out of my house. All right. Love the tight-fitting plastic that we should come to expect. Uh, we have... Let's see if we get the right amount, shall we? One, two, three, four. Oh, the reverse one! I straight... I quit the game when she came out. What does she do again? On attack, counterblast one, retire two rear guards, check top five, call two. Seems pretty decent. And at the end of the battle that your Cecilia rear guard was placed from deck this turn. Wow, that's a mouthful. Counterblast one, lock two, standing one, stand the unit that attacked. If your front row has a locked card, bind it instead of standing, and then ride it. So basically you can attack with the rear guard Cecilia and then ride it during the battle phase. That's pretty cool. Wow, finally Neo Nectar has some version of the restanding vanguard. Oh, Martina! Wow, we, is it, so it's four Cecilia and two of everybody else. I forgot they made Vera. Well, throwback to when I want, I really liked her mate for some reason. She looks like the one girl from Kill la Kill. Very, tw- <laughs> very 2014 core, this set. Kind of less one retire to uh, choose two from drop bottom them. Look at the top five, choose up the two units. Call them, shuffle. If you called two musketeers, it gets to drive. Oh wait, I played with this card. I forgot I had this deck. Uh, and if your vanguard is grade three, if your opponent's vanguard is three and you have a Saul, all of your front rows get power from trigger effects. That's neat. Uh, Sylvia Plath, Tor at three. I don't remember what she does. I remember he was pretty good. Uh, on place, if you have a musketeer, soul blast one, retire your check top three, call one, bottom the rest. If you called the trigger, counter blast one to activate its trigger. That's what it was. That's pretty cool. Ruth, wow, this is actually giving me a weird nostalgia flashback that I truly wasn't expecting. Ride, call a plant. If your opponent's vanguard is grade one, call two. That's pretty cool. And when this or your other unit is placed on rear, sack it and counter charge. Seems pretty good. I remember Merka. She was the ride when V started. Wow, they're actually, are you, do people actually want Gaston or did they just include it for no reason? I think they just include it for no reason. Awesome, that's fine. Kira. It's a musketeer. It's a musketeer. Unfoil over trigger just feels weird. Happy Lucky at four, that's good. The stride critical at four, that's good. Draw P at three? There's a reason why. Oh, is it like the order PG thing? Yeah. I always forget about those because again, those came out after I quit. Uh, the heel guardians, the order PG. Harmonics, oh, I get to read a Yu-Gi-Oh length novel. You can only have one in, of it in the G zone. Stride, I'm gonna say that's normal stride rules. On place, unlock anything you want, but discard the same amount. Man, if only this existed when G era was a thing, that would have been cool. V G zone, on place or at the beginning of turn if this is face up and your damage zone is two or less and no new card was put into it during your pr- opponent's turn a damage draw a card so it's uh, anti-damage to know yeah good when your grade one is placed by riding from a grade zero if you went second reveal it to get a guardian shield that's just the quick shield on steroids right correct see i remember some things did they update her effect text i don't want to read the they did they did so i have to read this awesome uh, G zone, if your vanguard is a Cecilia with the limit break, amazing. If you didn't get an imaginary gift, choose one or more cards with the sum of their grades being three or higher and stride this. Then turn a musketeer face up, get two. Oh, so it's like the old vanilla things, but for musketeers specifically. Mm-hmm. That's actually really cool. 
Wow, a, a, a Vanguard product I actually kind of like. It's been so long, man. Oh, there's more. Counterblast 1, turn a card with the same name face up, retire as many as you want, check top 7, call the same amount, uh, they get 3. So it's just the the other original virginal Cecilia, but updated. That's yeah. fine. You're mostly, I'm assuming you're mostly here for the forest gifts. It mentions something about a crest, doesn't it? Let me read again. I didn't see that. Wouldn't that be on Kira? It should be on the G unit. If your Vanguard is a grade three, if you didn't get a gift, stride. Oh, you get a White Lily Musketeer Cecilia Crest. Cool, so I'm assuming that's gonna be there later. The hell is this? GBA? Is it? Maybe not. Maybe it's a premium collection card. Discard a card, choose a rear guard, call two with the same name. When it attacks kind of less one, if you have two cards with the same name, stand them. That seems bad. That just seems not good. It's I a mean, one of. It's a one of, but it just. Oh, hey. Is she unbanned yet? Yep. Cool. Guess what? What? She's the third best deck in the in premium right now. Wow. Neo Nectar really stays winning the moment I leave the game. That sounds about right. Oh, this is the other Cecilia. Is this one unupdated? No, this is normal. This but is it, the GBA. It's your flip target because you have to flip Double the musketeer. musketeer. Which makes sense, so I'm glad. It, I feel like they should just put multiple of these and just drop to this thing, but that's yeah. whatever. Diversity. This is the GBA. It's still the same. Wow, Sandrine. Crazy. For whatever reason. <laughs> you, you make plant tokens, I guess. Uh, was Costarina updated? I hope not. I don't think so. Cool. I think the only thing updated was the, si the Cecilia. So, yeah. Everything else is the same. Cool. Wow, shout out to Robert. What does this do? I haven't seen this card in my life. On guard, choose two normals with the same name from rear or drop bottom if you did. Counter charge 15 shield. That seems pretty good. Oh, hey, Rain Breath. Love that guy. Big shout out to Rain Breath. Quick shield, better quick shield, Cecilia theme gifts they're not double-sided but that's fine oh they it's the limit break for the force one and then the stride for force two. Oh, here's the, the the crest if your heart is the limit break cecilia and you stride virginal on van oh if you if if your heart is cecilia and your vanguard is virginal it gets all of your heart abilities and when you play a cecilia from deck and draw plus 10k that's cool that's actually really neat. Uh, your Vanguard becomes Limit Break 4, 13, uh, and it, Limit Break is always active. Wow, that's, that's neat as hell. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like this. This is really cool. Because I like it, I'm assuming the deck isn't good. Cool. It, it's, premium's a weird thing because it's like, because oh, we- Oh, foil's have, neat. Yeah, it's it's because we have like, like over trigger and access to stride while your opponent's at grade two. Yeah. And triggers exist, it's kind of like- Everything's good, nothing's yeah, good. Kinda. Going except, first is good. Exactly, it's just basically like, did you win the die roll? Then yeah, you probably are gonna win with that deck did you not win the die roll not the, great there are other decks that are better at going second so that's fair well good to know that premium has gone the way of Yu-Gi-Oh, especially with the novella of card length that's fine though it wouldn't be a video with me in it without dropping an out-of-pocket hot take for no reason a uh, modern Yu-Gi-Oh is actually good you just don't like it that's do you see the new maxi yeah Max, no, that's Max 3. Max 3. Because <laughs> we got another one, it's just not as good. But True. yeah, um, I, I, big ups, Malt Charmy. But yeah, Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! was actually a fine game. You're allowed to dislike it. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not objectively bad because you dislike it. Also, shout outs to the five legendary frogs that Magic is giving us. So, yeah, I like plants, but I like frogs more. So I like all of my little froggy guys. <laughs> big ups, Bloomboro. But yeah, weird to end a Vanguard video with me in it where I actually like what's happening. It's just, it's been so long since I've had that, man. That's crazy. Okay, bye. Action. Salome. Got a, I got my sword letter opener. Seeing Salome is so weird just because even during Limit Break and also V-Series, they were pushing, what's the other one, Ashley? Aren't there like six Ashleys or something? No, it's just the two. The Limit Break and the V one. Oh, wait, there's the, there's, the, there's the- Didn't they also make an, a, they did, a, they make a, a V-Series reverse? A reverse. They did make a V series. Okay, so we're counting retrains. They, yeah. Uh, there is like five, I think. Maybe there's four. Salome. <laughs> Salmon. All right, same stuff. Pretty box. I do like that even though it's like Royal Paladin, I feel like Jewel Knights were every like blue coated. They decided to make it a purple box. Yeah. And I'm I'm just glad because there's just too many blue Royal Paladin products. If, if you go through every single Royal Paladin like trial deck or like upgraded deck thing or legend deck, they're all blue boxes. 
That's like, that's funny. So well, they're not called blue paladins. They might as well be. But the purple is a nice change. I appreciate it. Uh, I love how they gave Salome bisexual lighting. Uh, Salome and Ashley are actually lesbians, and they're in love. That's why they ride each other. Fair enough. That does make sense. Well, that also explains why all the jewel knights want to be on top of each other. Yeah, uh, jewel knights are one giant lesbian polycool. And if you ask what about the male jewel knights, I forgot about them. They stopped making them. <laughs> Go ahead. Plastic and more plastic. How do they even get these things? They get this They're thing. so tight, yeah. The machine assembly line. All right. We got our four Ashley, or four Salome's. Speaking of Ashley, there's there is. two Ashley's. I told you there was a reverse one. Not enough Ashley's, honestly. You need, you need, you need four. But we did get reverse Ashley. Yo! Wait! We got Yavin that's back. crazy. <laughs> I, I forgot Yavin came back in this set. That unlocked a core memory that I thought was log repressed. Well, speaking of male jewel knights. No, uh, Yavin is actually trans mask. Fair enough. I forgot what he does. When this attacks wall legion, if you have six or more jewel knights, this gets 5k in a crit. It's just Gancelot. Um, except without the counter blast. When this attacks, it gets 2k. So he's very generic. Isn't that the original Yavain skill? Like word this for is word? the original Yavain. Amazing. It's exact, he's no gift. He has 11k with the lead. It's the exact same print. Cool. Wow, that's crazy size. This is very much built for like players that are been playing this game for at least 10 years. Uh, grade twos. Four Lily is very, very good. This card is very, very important to the deck. Four Sybil is also really good, uh, just to build a board and get hand, which is nice. And the most important reprint of the century, <sighs> three, we uh, got three Sword Me's. Sword Me is so crazy. It's because I genuinely forgot it was a Legion mate. It was just so important standalone for its entire lifespan. Mm -hmm. I straight up forgot it had connected art. Let's, there they go. Wait, Legion. Yeah. There are people that don't know how the Legion mechanic works and probably have to read the act ability. Good for them. I wish <laughs> I could forget. Sword Me, in case you don't know why it's so important, is counterblast a Jewel Knight in your damage zone and then you search your deck for any grade one Jewel Knight and call it to rear. That is why it is so good and was so expensive what? back in the day. Did it say counterblast the Jewel Knight originally? Yes. So I, I truly never knew that. So, but the thing was, that's why it didn't matter because people just ran Jewel, Jewel Knight, Knight triggers. Yeah. And the rest of the, because it doesn't matter if you have a Jewel Knight Vanguard or not. Yeah. So Sanctuary Guard, Thing Saver Dragon. You just ran Jewel Knight. I truly thought cards. it was just a counterblast this whole time. That's crazy, Saws. Well, it didn't end up mattering. You just ran Jewel Knight PGs instead of Seeker PGs because Thing Saver did not care about the Seeker name. So you just ran an entire Jewel Knight main deck. Yeah, Sword Me was kind of goaded for a long time and that's why it was $30 a piece and higher at some points. But now it's reprinted. Grade ones. Uh, Morbidus at four, not bad. This is a big one, Eunice at four. Eunice used to be really expensive, like eight to ten dollars a piece. Why? Um, because it's a free soul charge and it doesn't require your Vanguard to be a Jewel Knight. So decks that just like to have soul run it and yeah. it bounces back to your hand. So it's just, it's just splashable. This is also really cool. Christine at three. This card was really, really bad back when it was first printed and then V-Series became a thing and then this card became really, really, really good because it says you can search your deck to call a grade three and then you just search Ashley because it has a rear guard skill. No, that's fun. And then at the end of the battle, it bounces back to your hand or at the end of the turn, it goes back to your hand. So you have stride fodder. So it just became more versatile that's and cute. it's searchable by sword main. Um, that is it for the grade ones. And then we got our starter. Tiffany. So we got a Jewel Knight starter. And then onto the triggers that are probably not Jewel Knights. Uh, Amar Tanoa, so we do get our over trigger. Um, you're gonna replace this for literally any of the other Cray Elemental or non-Nation ones. Really? Drive checks is just not nearly as important as an OT that gives you a crit or a free restand. That's shocking. Yeah, well, cause you really don't, you call things on top of each other. So the odds of you having a front row rear guard with twin drive is actually not that likely. It's kind of whatever. Also, you don't want to deck out because you're soul charging so much. Fair. Uh, Amulet Eagle. This is okay, I think. I, obviously, everyone's gonna run the other one, the crits that were, they damage checked. Yeah. They count as a draw trigger. Um, this is really good, obviously, the crit that counts as a stride. Flash Shield Assault, which is really funny because flashing Jewel Knight Assault used to be the PG, and 
Heal Guardians are always good, and Elementaria, I'm just, that's always I'm good. I'm also just realizing there's actually a pretty decent glut of non jewel Knights for Sword Me to Counterblast. Yeah, that's like the other problem <laughs> with Sword with Sword Me now. It's kind of like, eh, is yeah. it worth it? Um, cool, G-Zone. Harmonics reprint, always good. And we got the new Evangeline. So Evangeline's similar to uh, Cecilia. So this one is same thing. If you have a leading Jewel Knight, Salome Vanguard, uh, with the Limit Break ability, you can discard a three from your hand, two stride this, get two imaginary gifts, and then you get a Salome Crest. And then it, after that, um, you turn a face down Jewel Knight face up. Oh yeah, they just get the gifts and the crest. It also has the original ability, so you can flip a card you use on face up to get the hearts ability. Um, and if you have three or more rare cards with Jewel Knight in their name, all of your units with Jewel Knight get 3k for each face up card with Angeline, eh, Evangeline in your G zone. So that's cool. So you're able to get off Limit Break for free and copy the heart skill. And the heart is Limit Break. You have to have four damage for this skill, like broken skill. When this attacks, you have four or more rear guards of Jewel Knight, two cane of crit. Yeah, she was so real for that. <laughs> right, for one ofs, Elugius, it's decent. We got the GBA, which fills a board. The most important reprint, honestly, but it should have been multiple copies. We got Crystal Luster, so you can go into Crystal Luster at least once, which is really, really good. Uh, Saint Twin Sword is a decent finisher as well. And then two copies of Arrow Alt Mile, which you're just gonna use as flip fodder. Throw back to when he was like $30. Yeah, he was really, really important back in the day, but not so much anymore. I really hate that 2015 is back in the day. I don't like that. Yeah, nine years. Uh... G Guardians, this card. Okay, I just want to preface this and say that unless you're playing Blasters, all the G Guardians for Royal Paladin are ass. They're just <laughs> terrible. Sick. This one is you can give a rear guard 10k shield and the ability when it intercepts, you may counterblast and soul blast to turn it into a PG. That's if you have something in your front row to intercept with. So good luck with that. So this card kind of sucks in my opinion, but if you can pull it off, nice. Maskell, Maskell is probably the best G Guardian. Um, they should have given you two because it, it's just 10K shield and that's as good as it gets for Royal Paladin. They give us a Laser Guard Dragon, which is a worse version of Maskell because it gets 5K instead of 10K. And then they give us Andrigus. I think I'm saying that wrong, which is Maskell but worse because it requires you to continuously have a grade two in your front row, meaning if you G-guard and then intercept, you lose the shield. So um, bad, bad, the best G-guard Royal Paladin has, and then a Cradle Mental. Wow. So yeah, if you can, I just say pick up like two or three more Maskells if you can. Maybe two and then another one of this and the rest of these are like whatever. But but Richard, the other Maskell doesn't require you to be a GB1. Wow, if only like, there was a way for you to be able to stride while your opponent was at grade two to get you to GB1. Anyways, quick shield and guardian ticket for harmonics. We got our Markies, Marky Marks, uh, and then our crest. Oh, and then our, our foiled Evangeline. So we do get a full playset and then foil, foil marker, foil marker. But the crest is actually kind of funny. So the crest is similar where your limit break Salome becomes a 13k base. Your limit break abilities are activated no matter what damage you have. But its main ability is if you have a Salome heart with the limit break ability, your Evangeline gets all the original abilities. And when you would pay the cost for uh, Salome's effect, you can reduce the cost by Counterblast 2. Yeah. So you Salome's skill is Counterblast 2, call any Jewel Knight in your deck, so you can just do that for free. Can you just do that infinitely? I think it's just the first time. Yeah, it, it says the be. first time yeah, each that, turn. That'd be crazy. Yeah, it says for the first time each turn, you basically, so you just stride, ride Salome, stride Evangeline, get your marker, and then you can just immediately just declare heart skill and search any Jewel Knight in your deck and call it, which is nice. Yeah. Not fun things to do while your opponent is at grade two. So that's it for Salome. All that's left is Raging Form. Good for him. We're rolling. Hi, I, I'm the only person that's ever played Shadow Paladin on this channel, so that's why I have to be doing the Raging Form video. Oh, your sword, sire. Thank you. I like how he has like a beard. I think it's fun. He's a chin strap for some reason. I think that's cool. We need more ugly dragons. Do 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 do. 
Yep, that's raging for him, all right. Oh, that is so raging for him, all right. <laughs> what about Lord? <laughs> I forgot about Lord. Throwback. I wish I could forget. All right, I'm gonna blow through these because I care about this a lot less than I cared about the other one. Four raging form. Wow, they made a reverse raging form. That's crazy. Um, drag ruler phantom. Does that mean we have Mordred? You better. Nope. Okay. Slay Hex. Yas Hex. Slay. Oh, Tartu. Throwback to her. Revenger Dark Bless Angel. Bless Dark. Wow, this is the original Mana. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what was really funny? When this set was first announced, yeah. the Manas went up in price, and then the product list was revealed, Nailed and it. Mana was already in the deck. Sick. Love to see it. Uh, Self-Control Revenger Rika. Man, I wish I had some of that. Alfie, Fritz, Amar Noah, uh, the Heart Thump Crit for GB1, Stride Crit, PG, Heal Guardian, PG Order. Why is this one better than a regular PG? Uh, is your opponent's triple driving their free? Right. It's just that first part. If your opponent's Vanguard has triple drive, it's free. Sure. All right, I forgot it. They did a raging form GB guy. Oh, is this the GB8? Wow, throwback. That's crazy. Uh, Crow Crotch, Chain Ranker, Drag Ruler, Morfessa, Dark Veil, Deep Griever, Gelido, Ludvik. Why are people running Cal Colburn? Is it just because it's because everybody's drawing a bunch of cards, so it gets big? I think I it was just filler. Like, it's, sure. they were just like, this product might be too good, gentlemen. What are we yeah. gonna do to make it worse? So true. Uh, four C's, other four C's. Ra oh yeah, Raging Rap would be the retrain. That just makes sense is what's the rage inform crest do if your heart is rage inform with limit break when you would limit break for your raging rap oh so you it could, changes it the changes effect. the cost limit break kind of less so less retire to discard two grade threes put this in oh you stride another one with, oh okay so you could just turn it into retire three instead of a higher cost that makes sense and then the usual limit break tax this seems fine so what's cool because that they changed it um it, it's an you can also do. Yeah. You can do one or the other, meaning you can do it twice. Is that how that works? Because its original effect is you counterblast, soul blast, discard two abyss dragons. Yeah. So you do and then retire two. Yeah. So if you have a board of five, you retire three, and ride then a new you do one. That. Oh. Retire two, discard two, ride it again. So it's supposed to be Could, five attacks. Right. Couldn't you theoretically, if you had four abyss dragons in your hand, just do it twice off of itself? You could. We'll just make yeah, you it could do that that way too. But the other thing too is when the things you retire have effects when they're when they retired. retired. You want to do that anyways. And you can bring more stuff out. So yeah. if there's probably a way to do it where you can get do it three times if yeah. you have enough resources. That's funny. So it is, it's just funny that they changed the cost so that you have more, more than one way to God. be able to do it twice. That's funny, that seems neat. Well, yeah. does it change the base to 13 on this one too? It does, yeah. but I think it's the only one where it says you don't get a copy of the heart skill because that would be bad because yeah. you don't want to ride Raging Fork right. in your hand. So it's the only one of the three where it doesn't change or add the heart. It just changes, changes. the original yeah. G unit. And I feel like that's honestly kind of better, at least with Cecilia, because her limit break isn't great. I mean, with the virginal, it seems pretty cool because there's stuff, I'm sure there's stuff you can do with it, but I feel like making the better card better is better than make, making the better card have a worse, an additional free skill. It's just not great, but whatever. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, this is actually really pretty. I don't yeah. know if they ever made a Raging Corn box before. I think I had to have. I'm kind of fucking with the the blue, the dark blue on this one. The gray mat. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. Fair. All right. Uh.